Hey everyone, Alex Ionescu here. Welcome to Investor's Guide to the Galaxy. New general purpose humanoid robot GR1 from Fourier Intelligence. They plan to build 100 humanoid robots till the end of 2023. Although before we start, if you find this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you crashed the like button and subscribed to my channel. It's totally free and takes just a split second. If you want to show more appreciation, consider subscribing to my Patreon. Now, let's dive right into it. Tesla stock price today in pre-market up 2%, year to date up 160%, past year up 17%, past 5 years up 1245%. Another humanoid robot to keep an eye on. Fourier Intelligence is building robots for elderly care. The humanoid robot is called GR1. According to DataNize, Fourier Intelligence has raised a total of $100 million in funding over four rounds, so it's relatively a small company. Let's look at this article from wonderfulengineering.com. This new general purpose human robot will carry nearly its own weight. The demand for AI-backed humanoid robots as companions for humans is growing rapidly due to advancement in technology. Chinese company Fourier Intelligence has unveiled its plans to manufacture 100 GR1 general purpose humanoid robots by the end of 2023. So this is a small company that plans to build 100 humanoid robots till the end of 2023. If this company with 100 million dollars in funding can do 100 robots, Tesla is able to do more than this. Before this I was thinking of 50 to 100 Tesla bots in 2023, but now I'm thinking that Tesla can manufacture 500 Tesla bots this year if they want to. The GR1 humanoid robots are equipped with an array of features tailored to patient rehabilitation. In addition to assisting in physical tasks like transferring patients and lifting objects, these robots offer therapeutic interventions to enhance wrist strength, hand and finger grip, and lower body exoskeleton training. By integrating these capabilities, the company aims to address the specific needs of patients undergoing rehabilitation. Chen Ko, CEO and co-founder of Fourier Intelligence, envisions a future where GR1 robots can fulfill multiple roles in caregiving, therapy assistance and companionship for the elderly. This vision is particularly valuable for individuals who live alone and require additional support. With a height of just over 5 feet, 1.64 meters, and a weight of 120 pounds, 55 kilograms, the GR1 robots are designed to be practical and versatile. They are capable of autonomous movement, obstacle avoidance, and basic tasks such as grasping objects. Let's watch the presentation of the robot.
is so slim compared to Tesla bot, so I'm a little skeptical about the robot lifting that much weight, almost his entire body weight. What's interesting is that the speed of the robot is 5 km per hour, compared to Tesla bot walking speed 5 miles per hour, that's 8 km per hour. So let's take a look again. This is GR1 walking. And this is Tesla bot walking. I don't know about that speed, but clearly GR1 is walking faster than Tesla bot today. In this image here is the next version of GR1 humanoid robot. Here you can see another picture of the next version. Although the current design is still in the research and development phase, the company estimates that it will take approximately 2 to 3 years to finalize the prototype. Koch emphasizes the robot's potential, stating that the system enables self-balanced walking and can be programmed to perform various tasks like sitting, standing and even jumping. The robot's arms can also be programmed to handle utensils and tools, offering flexibility in completing diverse tasks. Fourier Intelligence specializes in rehabilitation technology and already provides patients with a range of options through its program called Rehab Hub, which incorporates integrated physical therapy devices. The company has also developed exoskeleton robots that support the arms and legs during physical therapy. Koch believes that humanoid robots have the potential to fill gaps that previous technologies could not, providing significant assistance and interacting autonomously with patients. At the World AI Conference in Shanghai, Fourier Intelligence showcased the GR1 robot alongside other prominent robots, including Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot prototype. Here is another video with the robot and the CEO of the company. <laughs> I think we all agree that globally we are facing a you know, rapidly aging population, particularly in Singapore and China and Japan in the developed world. Um, the population is getting older. And as we age, um, the elderly require more you know, support. Um, so there are lack of clinicians and caregivers. So we are creating technologies to help to actually provide services and treatments and you know, care for elderly. So the, the, the elderly or the patients are already familiar with using part of the robotics. It's just that in the past they're using the arms or the legs to support their movement and their treatment. Eventually they start to have maybe uh, you know, the full upper body and lower body support and eventually they have an autonomous, autonomous robotics that is interacting with them. The focus will be on building an ecosystem surrounding Fourier Intelligence Humanoid. The first step toward constructing such an ecosystem, according to him, the CEO, is to open an API for integrators or developers with specific industrial know-how to find an array of use cases like security inspection, elderly care, and household services. Goo's vision for GR1 is an Android-like open source platform. Ecosystem partners will be able to advance innovation throughout the industrial chain and create synergy conducive to rising adoption of the device. We as a company cannot do it alone, rather we need partners to join us on this journey, said Gu. Humanoids are not a consumable that will become mass produced and utilized within one year. I think this platform will be the next big thing. I believe Tesla will do the same thing, a platform where companies can make software apps for the humanoid robot. Then people can download the apps and use it on the robot.
there can be a software app for anything, working as McDonald's app, working in a warehouse as speaker app, delivery robot app, and so on. Tesla and other companies that make humanoid robots should have a very tight grip on these kind of platforms. Someone can develop a dangerous app and then use it with a robot to do bad things. If you like this video, please smash the like button so that other people like you see this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you that watch my videos. See you next time.